the vlogs are back yay what's up guys it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel um, as you can see the vlogs are back I'm so delighted um, I haven't done one in so so long it's been so busy like the past few months have legit been the busiest of my life so far um, the TV show that I'm filming is starting to ease up now will be finished I think next month so I thought it would be a great time to get back into vlogs get back into the swing of it so I'm bringing you guys along with me today I'll probably bring you with me over the next few days but we'll just take it one day at a time and see how we get on um, I'm actually late what's new I'm going into town to go to the Erdem by H&M press event and then I have a couple of other events on today and then a dinner later on with Yosef um, for Peroni so let's give you a look at what I'm wearing apologies in advance for all the mess I actually got a really nice jacket from shop off which just arrived today and I'm obsessed I have three suede jackets from shop off at this stage and uh, they're all amazing so this is my dark green one this is my light green one was another one necessary I don't know but I think the greens are quite different and I love them both anyway so this is what I'm wearing today. I have my ASOS Baker Boy cap, which I live in. It's my favorite one of their Baker Boy caps and I tried out loads of them and returned them. This one's the best. I will link it below. Uh, if it's still in stock, hopefully it is. And then I have this jacket from Shop Up. I love this suede biker jacket. It's like this really deep green color. This slip from River Island is old, but I'll try and find a similar one. A simple um, t-shirt from H&M, a belt from River Island, and then these epic boots from H&M that I'm obsessed with. They're actually so comfortable. They're perfect for stomping. So this is the look and then I have this bag. This is, is a very obvious Prada Kahir dupe. It actually looks amazing on. Um, it's about 25 euros, I'll link it below. Look at that detail. Okay, I better run because I am late and I need to get a taxi because I missed my train. Uh, wow, what a night on it. Wow, what a signing. And you were thinking. Oh, oh my God. Um, I'm going to share like a half-life of him. So Look share... at this. How pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this Erdem collaboration. Like the prints are just so amazing. Fab. And here's Holly and Sarah cooing over the lighting. It's fab, guys. Cooing over Stanley. Oh. Sarah has the most beautiful little staffy, which she got from DSPCA, was it? Yeah. Oh, look, he's so cutie. He is actually adorable. I know. Oh my God, goals. He's so cute. So I'm all done in Erdem for H&M in the Shelburne. It was such a beautiful venue. I literally don't think they could have picked a better venue for that collaboration if they tried. Um, so now I'm on my way over to Residence, which is just on St. Stephen's Green. Handily, it's just over the street. And uh, I have a meeting with the girls from Aven, or Aven, however you want to pronounce it. It is the beautiful French skincare brand. So I'm gonna pop in, see what new launches they have for Christmas time, and uh, have a chat to those guys. They're such a lovely PR team as well. And uh, then I'll be on to the next appointment of the day. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little sneak peek of Redem. It looks so fab. Actually, by the time this video is live, my sponsored video with Redem will be live on my channel. So I'll link that below as well. Um, it started to rain, which is a bit of a pity, but I have a big hat, so it's okay. I'm gonna run across the street. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait. Don't wanna die while I'm vlogging. That would be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> We are learning about this new range from Aven, and it's the A Oxidative. I'm saying that right, am I, Victoria? A Oxidative, that's right. This yeah. is Victoria. Hi. She's such a sweetheart. And she's <laughs> over from the UK, and we're catching up, and we're talking products. And this, I'm really, really excited about. It's basically um, kind of to protect you from all the pollutants that, of course, we have in our everyday lives, especially in the city. So I've had a good talk through of how these work, and I'm going to start using them soon. And I will, of course, keep you guys updated. Completely 
completely forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Clearly I'm still getting used to this vlogging thing. Um, I'm trying to think how many snippets I got from the day. Um, it was definitely a really busy one. Uh, usually my days aren't that hectic with like three or four events in one day. That doesn't usually happen. Um, but yesterday was just one of those days. So I had Erdem by H&M in the morning, which I wanted to pop along to because I'm working with them on a collaboration. So I really wanted to go, well, I would want to go and see this stuff anyway, but because I'm working on something with them for my YouTube channel, um, I definitely wanted to go and support and see the pieces in person as well. Um, because I only used a few, I only used a few pieces for my collaboration but they had all of them there for the press event so that was really amazing then afterwards I had a quick coffee with Victoria from um, a PR company she's one of the reps for Aven the beautiful French skincare brand so she was over from the UK so I met her in residence and we had a coffee and it was really nice and then after that I met up with Yosef who had finished work and then we went to the Peroni dinner so that was basically a um, a dinner to kind of celebrate the launch of the Peroni pop-up called La Sagra are basically a pop-up event that runs for a few weeks um, this time it's on in Marion Square they've actually had it on there a good few times before it's a really nice space and they have obviously Peroni um, beers and then Peroni cocktails they're actually really really nice cocktails even though they have beer in them and then they have loads of really lovely Italian food and kind of pop-up food stalls and it's just really really nice so they were having a dinner to celebrate the launch of that so I went along with Yosef and it was just really nice it was like a sit-down dinner it was like five courses and it was just really lovely and relaxed so that was really really nice and then there was more drinks at that and then I came home and just completely forgot to finish the vlog because I was so sleepy but now it's the next morning and I obviously have my makeup on I actually need to finish my hair and I'm going back into town for one appointment I'm meeting Victoria again um, she's also the rep for the Christian Louboutin beauty range so I'm gonna meet her um, in town later for probably another cup of coffee and a little catch up and she's gonna show me um, the new launches for the Christian Louboutin Beauty which should be really exciting because they do the most amazing like nail polishes and lipsticks I'm sure you guys recognize the crazy packaging they're just so dramatic but before I go I wanted to show you guys some um, new beauty launches that have arrived um, that were sent to me that I think look really interesting so I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys a look so here is one of the launches from a brand called Yope and they actually have a little card here and it says Kira please find enclosed new hand creams from Yope I hope you love them best Cloda which is very sweet and this is it have a nice day naturally unusual so these are products that are almost 100% natural um, so as you can see here the packaging is so nice it's really pretty I love this type of old-school packaging and uh, yeah this one is ginger so it is natural hand cream and this is ginger and sandalwood but there's also mint salvia and green caviar there's also tea and mint and um yeah they look really really nice so another beauty launch that i'm excited about is by urban decay and it's their heavy metals palette it's really like an actual palette it doesn't open up like a book so you just hold it like this it has a huge mirror there i am it has a huge mirror which is super handy and look at these colors obviously i'm immediately drawn to this side because they're a lot more natural like a lot of urban decay palettes it is affordable it's 49 euros for this many colors and the color payoff of urban decay eyeshadows is really really good so if you're into metallics this one looks really really good so another fun looking beauty launch is the lancome absolute rose pink lip art so these are a collection of glosses this this one's actually I think a matte cream gloss and then these two are very glossy and very kind of typical I don't know Lancome they do a lot of like the juicy tubes and uh, they're kind of more of a slick finish so the colors that they sent me are Avex style graffiti and caprice and they're really really nice they're lovely and punchy and really bright and uh, yeah I think they'll be quite nice for the party season I usually don't wear glasses too much but I'm trying to get into them a little bit more because I am quite liking leaving the super super dry matte styles kind of behind I think it's nice to have something a little bit more hydrating on the lips so I will definitely give these a go and see how I get on so just to give you guys a look at what I'm wearing today I have my H&M boots again seriously these are so comfy let me give you a better look at them they really are so comfortable I also love the look at the front they've got like this little bit of padding and then these little um I don't know rivets or hooks or eyelets I can't remember what they're called but they've got these cute little things that you tie the laces around these like rivets or whatever you call them but they're fab oh it's so comfy that's the main thing oh god I need to clean this mirror so I'm just wearing a H&M skirt this is 
oh my god about three years old um, but it's just a really simple like a-line skirt with pockets and then this jumper is from H&M as well I got it a good few weeks ago and it's really comfortable it's kind of like a some sort of wool blend it feels like a wool cashmere but I know it was only about 30 euros so it couldn't have been that and then I have a beret if you can see there we go so I'm feeling oh no I can't do that so I'm feeling V something today, very autumnal. And then I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy, which I always reach for. It's just such a good bag that goes with everything. So yeah, ta-da! So um, it's called Metalisma. It launches on the 1st of November. Christmas collections, limited edition. They're like baubles. It's really beautiful. Ooh. It's kind of like a 90s. Oh, that's so party season, a yeah. little shimmer. So it has Great for that time of the year though, you want a little bit of sparkle. Exactly, yeah, like very, very party season. Oh. And then Luby Lack, so this is what Lauren's wearing, a super, super lacquer, mm. high intense shine. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really nice. It's kind of like yeah, blood red. Yeah, as well, that's fab. So they also come in this beautiful little case. It's kind of like this little gold pouch and you can also get them embossed. So if you come into store, it's a service that they'll offer. And do you know the date of it, Victoria? Yeah, so it's the 24th to 27th of okay. November. Okay. Or the uh, 21st to 23rd of December. <laughs> so if you wanted to get them embossed with, let's say your initials or a name or something yeah. like that for a gift, really, really good gift idea. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm super impressed. A trip into town would not be complete without my favorite event. You call, I fall. There's a legacy between us. We grow, we go. things that I am super excited about today is that my package from Otterbox arrived. I ordered a new phone case and a new screen protector. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one is really grubby. It actually looks like my screen is cracked. There's some cracks there and there's actually two hairline cracks across the screen. It's really hard to see on camera, but basically this is a tempered glass screen protector and it takes all the shock if i ever bang my phone off anything i actually think i only ordered this the day before yesterday and it arrived today so that's pretty good so i'm gonna show you what i got i got their alpha glass which is their strongest tempered glass screen protector they're amazing and then i also got a new case for my phone as well and it is one of their clear ones but it has sparkles it looks so pretty without a case i mean i wish i could have this without a case because it's such a pretty phone but this would get destroyed it's like a flipping eggshell like they're so delicate so now i get to take off this grubby af tempered glass protector i can't wait i might need two hands to do this oh look you can see it shattering well, there's actually like bits of glass going everywhere. That's not good. Let me try and take this off with minimal damage. Oh, so you can see the way it's cracking. It actually absorbs all the shock from your screen. Of course, this will get absolutely destroyed if I had it without a case or a screen protector. So let's get all the stuff on it now. Ta-da! So now it is done and I love this case. It's really clear, it's nice and thick, it's really protective as you can see it like really protects the edges which I think sometimes the phone is the most vulnerable like at the front and at the sides when you drop it and then you can see the lovely kind of glitteriness there which is cool and then you can see the screen protector there. You can't even really notice it because it's so seamless, but that is gonna stop my screen from smashing. And it has saved me so many times. I actually have one more thing that I wanted to show you. I'm obsessed with this kind of stuff, but I picked up this uh, from Kate Spade on Shopbop and it is a sticker pocket. So this is basically a sticker that goes on the back of your phone case. And I wanted to wait till this arrived to stick this on it because I think you can only use it once. So oh, this is so cool. It's basically a card holder that goes onto the back of your case. So you stick it kind of wherever you want I might put mine down here. Okay, this is going nowhere. It is stuck fast. So I can put my card in here. How handy. Obsessed. I know this is such a silly thing to be obsessed about, but 
this makes me really happy. So they still have these on Shop Up, I'm pretty sure. And it was only 14 euro, which I think is really, really good value for something that's really nifty. Look, here. Is good. Cheese toasties, tea and stranger things. The perfect Saturday. I'm working all day tomorrow, so I'm chilling out today. I can't wait for the new series of this to come out. Like I'm living for it. What's up guys? So I thought I would check in because it's Saturday and it's kind of a day off for me. I'm filming all day tomorrow with Snow House, so I'll be working tomorrow. So today's a day for me to stay at home, to chill out, to get my washing done, to change my bed sheets, which you guys would have seen. And I have a mask on at the moment and it will start to dry and it will get more difficult to talk. But while it's in the drying process, I thought I would just sit down and chat to you guys. Um, the one that I'm using is one of the um, L'Oreal Clay Your Way masks. It's the green one. I think it's detoxifying and brightening. It's actually almost finished, um, so I just decided to put it all over my face. But I wanted to talk you guys through some new in product launches that I am really excited about. And I feel like I do this a little bit on my Insta stories and I didn't know do I, did I want to do a full YouTube video dedicated to it, but it seems like it would be handy to just sit down and chat to you guys here because the vlogs are back! I got this really sweet package from the lovely people at Hessian Hairdressing which was really really sweet and they sent me a card and a note. So they sent me some new hair products to try and one of them is the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair and I absolutely love Kevin Murphy products. He really really is amazing. I think he's an Aust I think it's an Australian brand. I have their do over spray and I absolutely love it. I actually don't know where that is. I haven't seen it in ages. I must pick up another bottle. It's that pink bottle and it's just like a texturizing mix of a hairspray. It's brilliant. And then this one is bedroom hair, so it's flexible texturizing hairspray and I will definitely use this. All his products smell amazing as well. Oh, that smells good. So yeah, this is really cool and I'll be really, really excited to try this. And then they also sent me this, which is really interesting. I've heard so much about these Moxie um, kind of eye makeup remover buds and I've never used them before. So I'm really, really excited to try this because I've started doing more of like a smoky eye and now that I don't have my lash extensions on anymore, I can play around with liquid eyeliner a bit more. And obviously I'm so out of practice with it because I've had lash extensions on for like two years. So this is gonna come in handy because I can kind of fix my mistakes. So yeah, this is actually an Irish brand as well. I'm pretty sure this is an Irish company. And yeah, I'm really excited to try this as well. And then they also sent me something which was extremely thoughtful and very practical and it is a silk pillowcase. Now I'm a huge advocate of silk pillowcases. I actually have a few of them already. And uh, not only are they just so comfortable to sleep on, but they genuinely are really good for your skin and hair. If you're putting on nighttime products, like me, I use a retinol oil at night, which is expensive. And I don't want it to be soaked up by a, a cotton pillow because cotton is much more absorbing. Um, silk pillowcases are great because they just stop the product from transferring onto the cotton and they just keep it on your skin. And then for your hair they're really good because they stop you from getting as much bed hair. They kind of they're just smoother on your hair and they just stop it from going a little bit crazy. It's such a weird feeling. I think when it starts to get this tight it is time to take it off because you don't want it really pulling at your skin. I'm gonna be so pink after this. Okay time to take this off. Now that my face mask is off and my skin is suitably pink, wow, it really is very pink. This will go down though, don't worry. I kind of like doing these masks maybe once a week. I find them really nice for drawing stuff out of your skin. Oh God, I look crazy right now. Don't worry, it will go down. I quite like doing these masks because I feel like they do draw um, stuff out of your skin. And even though I'm quite pink afterwards, I usually do them on a day off so I can afford to look like this, so it's fine. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on a really nice moisturizing serum. I'll bring that over and show you guys what I'm using right now because I am really happy with it. So I went in with this. I think that's actually something that we often forget about when it comes to skincare is that if a product has active ingredients, whether it's a serum or a moisturizer or whatever it is, um, if they have active ingredients, they can often kind of go off I suppose and also if you have like let's say a tub like something like this and it's an active ingredient and you're opening the tub and it's being exposed to the air that can affect all of the like agents or ingredients in it so I think it's quite clever that they did this and um, so I basically started I was using a different serum every day so I substituted it for this and I've been using this for I'd say 
about three weeks now if not more it's actually almost gone like I'm kind of at the end of it I've been using it generously and it does feel amazing um, one of the other things about this is that it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin and my skin can be a bit sensitive as you can see it definitely goes pink after a face mask and uh, it can be a bit reactive so this is supposed to be quite good for people who are suffering with that so I've been using it and I've been really really liking it so I thought that would be perfect to pop on after my face mask to just like calm my skin hydrate it obviously it's going to feel a bit dry after a clay mask and then the other thing that I used is this Kiehl's avocado eye treatment so this is technically an eye cream but it's quite rich so I try and only use this if I am in the house for the day it's really amazing you can see that beautiful green color I'm assuming is from the avocado but it's got this really nice consistency when you put it on the skin it's kind of it's like an emulsion it feels kind of like a mix of oil and water so what I do is I put this on my under eye and then I just dab it out I put it all around the kind of optical bone so like my under eye and then up just underneath my brow bone and it's really really nice and it feels I'm just going to put the residue on my eye now it feels really nourishing and it just feels really hydrating but I wouldn't really put this on first thing in the morning if I know I'm going to put makeup on because it is quite rich and do you know if you have like an eye cream on and then it starts to ball underneath your makeup and it's just a pain so I've got my um, Lancome Advanced Genifique um, Serum on my face and I also have the avocado eye treatment which is what you can see like all that shine there. Uh, I'm going to go in with another moisturizer when this serum soaks in which I think it already has because my skin definitely needs a bit more hydration and this pinkness will go down. I know it looks really really scary but when you do use a good clay mask it does go a little bit red afterwards, um, but I don't mind because it's just me in the house, Yosef is away, so I can look as pink and crazy as I want, even though I'm technically vlogging this now for everybody, but whatever, it's fine. I always forget to end my vlogs. I'm just gonna do it here before I forget. I would really, really love if you guys could let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of in the vlogs and if you would like to see more um get ready with me's or if you'd like more kind of personal chats if you'd like more following me around um if you want more new in products and beauty reviews please let me know in the comments because i will be taking your suggestions on board like i always do um so yeah i'd really love to know your feedback and um yeah i'm just getting back into the swing of this vlogging so please bear with me if it seems a little bit all over the place if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up just so i know and if you have not subscribed already I will leave my subscription button here and I will be posting multiple videos per week I am back into my YouTube groove now which is great so do subscribe so you won't miss any of those thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one bye